Welcome back to this week's vlog. I'm looking forward to sharing an important topic with you today and hope you'll take a moment to share this post with others. The holidays can be a very challenging time for people who are struggling with their mental health. This time of year can be overwhelming or lonely for many people. And if you're one of them, please know that you are not alone and that help is available. One of the ways that many people get help is by talking to a counselor or therapist. Talking to someone who can give you coping strategies can be absolutely life-changing. I've seen a counselor in recent years and it's really helped me learn how to better handle certain situations in my life as well as certain feelings that bubble up to the surface and get in the way of me living my best life. I'll link a video in the caption of this video to share resources if you're having a hard time getting an appointment with a therapist or counselor. Another way that people get help and the reason for this video is to talk about the importance of medication for mental health concerns. Sometimes medication is something that's needed. And this is no different than taking medication for allergies, taking a Tylenol for a headache, or taking insulin for diabetes. Doctors and researchers are constantly working on ways to improve mental health conditions through medication, and it has really come a long, long way. The reason I feel like I need to create this video, however, is because there's still a stigma out there when it comes to being on medication for mental health. Mental health conditions can require medication, but unfortunately, there are still some people out there who fight this. And I've seen this in multiple situations. People don't wanna take medication or have the stigma of taking medication. If your doctor is recommending a medication, I encourage you to take it as prescribed. Everyone's mental health journey is different, and medicine can often be a required part of that equation for you to improve your mental and emotional health. Here's an interesting statistic. According to the CDC, 45% of Americans take at least one prescription medication. For people between the ages of 20 and 59, the most common prescription medication they are on is antidepressants. So whether you're taking medication for mental health or physical health, it's very common to have a prescription for something. Medication can help us live our best lives and our mental health is one of the most important things in our lives. So it's important to take care of it. So while there are side effects with any medication, and I can empathize with that because I've experienced themself, them myself with the medications I take, I encourage you to work with your doctor to find the best possible solution. I take medication every day and I never feel guilty about it or worry about what someone might think or think about me if I take this. To me, it's worth the minor side effects because of how the prescribed medications help me. For example, I take muscle relaxers for my muscle spasms and they make me tired. So I try to eat more protein to keep my energy high and I always try to get eight hours of sleep. I also take supplements and vitamins all in an effort to overcome the side effects of my medications because if I didn't take my medications, my quality of life would be diminished as my legs and body would be spasming uncontrollably. So we have to think long term. What's better for your health in the long term? To have some minor side effects or to be healthier? By the way, all medications have side effects, no matter if it's Tylenol, NyQuil, or an antidepressant. And so it's important to work with your doctor to be aware of any possible side effects. But just because you're experiencing a side effect doesn't mean you should stop taking the medication. Sometimes it takes time to figure out the right dosage and the right medication. And your doctor can help adjust your dosage or help try out other medications that might work better with your body. But it's worth it. Keep trying until you get the help that you need. Be persistent, be an advocate for yourself. Even if it's a minor side effect, you should still see your doctor. Don't be afraid to discuss all of this with your doctor because it's their job to help you heal. And they should help you figure out how to make your mental health medication work for you. If they don't, you may need to see a different doctor. Not all doctors have been trained in mental health and so it's important to find a healthcare professional who can help you. Many people get second opinions, and so if your doctor isn't understanding or trying to help you get what you need, you might need to see another doctor. 
One thing that I wanna make clear is that if you are experiencing a negative side effect, especially one that is causing you to have worsening depression or suicidal thoughts, you need to immediately see a doctor. That is absolutely crucial. Now also, in terms of medication, when it comes to the stigma, it's also important to think about the other people in our lives. I know someone who has a mental health disorder and refuses to take medication because of the minor side effects. But as a result, she doesn't leave her house, can't hold a job, and her relationship her relationships have suffered immensely. She's not able to live the best life that she can, and I wonder if experiencing these minor side effects would be better than living a life of seclusion and fear. I say this because your stability and peace affect everyone around you. So when you're not taking your medication as prescribed, look around and ask yourself, how does it affect those around you? You want to be well for yourself, of course, first, but it's also crucial to have healthy relationships to be healthy. Stability is really important for both you and those around you. So again, the reason why I'm talking about this today is because we need to remove the stigma that taking medication is weird or that it makes you different. Nearly half of Americans take medication for something. The people around you should support you in your efforts to get well. If you can't separate yourself from people who don't support you, it's important for you not to let others stop you from living your best, most healthy life. It's your life and these medications are out there for a reason. It's important to be well. And remember, medications don't have to be forever. Sometimes we just need certain prescriptions for a period of time. It's not something that has to last forever. However, I do just want to say that medication is not a cure-all. I don't want to send a false message that this will fix all of your problems because a lot of people think that they can just take a pill and everything gets better. But the reality is that most of the time, it also takes other coping strategies like journaling, therapy, and exercise, and many other different things to keep our mental health at its very best. You have to find what you need and what helps you. Now, I don't want to diminish the importance of medication, but just remind you that it takes more than just a prescription to be well. So thank you again for tuning into this important discussion of mental health medication. I hope this has given you some tools for understanding why mental health medication is important and why you shouldn't be ashamed if you need to take it. I'll also link some resources in the caption that dig further into this topic. Be sure and share this post with others, and I'll see you next week. Thanks.